Hey, right, YouTube. Hey, uh, kind of a mess here. Okay, you're getting tired of me making excuses for the mess in the gear room. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But anyway, I got a couple things going on. One is, is I'm trying to reconfigure my summer pack. Uh, now that we've reached a point here in Texas where we no longer have biblical floods and we now just have oppressive heat. So uh, we'll be doing that in the next couple weeks. Uh, but right now what I want to do is I want to tell you something that I got... Uh, courtesy of a post at hammockhangers.net from my buddy Scott uh, he found a bug net uh, a detachable bug net a separate bug net whatever you want to call it from a place called hammock universe up there in in uh, Canada uh, I, I went ahead and got it uh, it was a total was thirty one dollars uh, which included shipping from Canada to the United States uh, I've used a number of bug nets. You've, you've seen my half a net video. If you haven't, go look at it. Uh, the half a net video was a way of trying to save some weight. I've used Franke bug net. I've used Hennessy hammocks and, and other netted hammocks, hammocks with a included bug net. Uh, I find that a separate bug net is uh, makes the system more adaptable. I don't need it in the winter. Why carry that weight? Okay? Uh, the problem I've had with uh, the, the alternatives to an integrated bug net, uh, the, the Franke net. The Franke net is a great thing. It's very easy to make good for the, for the beginning uh, DI wire. Uh, but uh, getting in and out of it can be a problem or just accessing stuff in your hammock, my ridge line hammocks, because you, you've got to reach down and pick the thing up and put it over you. Like, like you put in like a piece of clothing. And then you got to stand inside of it, mess around the hammock, and then you got to pull it off and, and, and get out of it. Okay. Uh, other aftermarket bug nets are available. Let me show you this little clip right now of the bug net that I got from Yukon Outfitters to go with my stepson Josh's uh, hammock setup, which is very similar to uh, the Eno bug net that's available out there. Okay. Let's take a look at. at what kind of a gymnastics I had to go through to get into that thing, okay? Just get in your hammock the way I told you before, except this time, stick your butt through the opening. You get inside. Okay, so there you go. So what attracted me to this was uh, looking at the propaganda on the website. They said it was very tall. Uh, it's, uh, it's intended to have its own ridge line hang by itself. Uh, but it's, it's almost seven feet tall from top to bottom. And I said, well, you know, if it's that tall, uh, maybe I can hang it from my tarp. Because in looking at it, the openings for the hammock itself, for the suspension of the hammock to come out of, is down about a foot from the top of the net. Okay, I, I put this together, I, I, I fiddled with it, I, I tried different kinds of line and things like that to get this to work. I've come up with a solution that I think will work, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll, uh, I'll show you that after we go out into the gear assembly area and get some measurements. Okay? All right, see you in a few minutes. Okay, so here we are. Length of the zipper is, depending on how far you stretch it, 79 or 80 inches. Now, six feet is 72 inches. So you can hang this thing so that the top of it is higher than your head. And that's why I got this thing. All right, let's go talk a little bit more about this. Okay, so you're probably wondering, Sarge, what the heck do you need with such a dang big bug net anyway? Well, it's because I plan on using this in uh, car camping situations and when I take my dog backpacking with me. A little bit. Uh, previously, uh, you may have seen the video I did on the uh, uh, tarp extenders that I uh, made up so that she could walk freely under the tarp without getting caught in the guy lines because I had her tied off to a tree uh, with a long leash. 
what this will allow me to do, hopefully, is uh, bring her inside the net, zip it up without having to uh, put her on a leash, but keep her safe uh, from bugs and to uh, keep her safe from wandering off into the distance. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this and why I think this might help me do that, okay? Okay, uh, let's look at the netting first. Uh, it's got fairly big holes in it, okay? Now, uh, I'm surprised, actually, that, that a netting uh, with such big holes is coming out of Canada uh, because they have a bigger no see -um problem than, than we do down here in Texas. Our, 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 our bugs are big down here. Our, our skeeters are big. Uh, uh, well, and, and I'll tell you, the last time I was camping, uh, I heard, uh, uh, in the summertime, I heard two of them talking. They were, they were sitting on, on my ridge line back up here over my head, and, and one said to the other, Sister, we eat him here or uh, take him back to the nest. And the other one said to him, Well, you know, if we take him back to the nest, uh, the big guys will take him away from us. So, anyway, that's why I used permethrin. So, anyway, uh, the, the bug netting is, is, is similar to military bug netting, which is a little bit stouter than no seam. Okay, so I'm thinking that this is a better uh, material for the dog. Okay, uh, the height that we measured there that appears to be tall enough that I can get underneath it under it you know, by standing with standing up completely in it, yet enough of it will be laying on the ground so that there will be enough room for a little bit to get on there, curl up, and go to sleep. Okay, so that's what this is. This is more of a bug net for my dog than it is for me. Uh, we talked a little bit about the construction. It's uh, just just like a Franke net and other nets. It's you no know, got uh, a cord lock to uh, close up the ends. Uh, the zipper. I'm not real happy with the zipper. Uh, could be better. I'd like to have see a nice uh, YKK double zipper. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And it's got four of these grow grain loops uh, down the length. Their intention is to run a single uh, ridge line through it and hang them off these loops. Uh, I'm going to come up with a system to hang this from my tarp and see if it'll hang well using only the end loops. Uh, I've messed around with a few things. I think I found a way that'll work. Let's go out there in the gear display area and take a look. Okay, there we are. I got it all set up. I'll, I'll show you some detail here in a little bit. Uh, you can see that, uh, oh, a little bit, she's already taken to it. She knows just what to do. She's a good dog. And uh, what this proves is a 12-foot hammock will fit in it. So if, uh, if my 12-foot hammock fits in it, yours will too okay anything up to 12 feet with it we'll get in here and I'll show you a little bit of detail on it how I rigged this uh, in just a second okay okay so here's what we did I took a length of shock cord and ran it through a double barreled cord lock and then ran the cord through the loop on the end of my hammock okay then I hooked a carabiner to it. Did this on both ends. Now I can adjust for length on both ends. And this will suspend at the height of my tarp. Okay, so this is about head high. This is usually how I would hang it. Uh, which means that the bug net now is head high and it's hanging without its own ridge line. Okay, now here on this other end, you can see where I've, I've got the cord lock installed and hooked to the beaner, but I didn't cinch up this end, okay? This lets the hammock pass through. So yeah, the last foot or so of my hammock is exposed, okay? That's not going to occur on most hammocks. Like I said, this is a 12-foot long hammock. Uh, this will fit yours. If you've got an 11-foot hammock, you shouldn't have any problem at all. But it doesn't affect the lay. Okay, now the only thing I really don't like about this uh, is the uh, the zipper, and that's only because it's not a two-way zipper. It, it zips down and it zips up. I would much prefer having another zipper pole here so that I could open it from the top or the bottom. 
but it's a zipper it's easy all right now once it's open uh, standing in it is no bigger a problem than standing underneath your tarp and of course sitting in your hammock that's no problem at all Oh, and there you go. You're inside your bug net. Ready to test the nap function of the bug net. Seal them off. Okay, I saved way in this for the end. I, if you watch the channel, you notice that uh, I generally weigh something like this right at the beginning of the video, but I've saved weighing this uh, to the end because what I wanted to do is weigh it with all of the modifications to it. In other words, the way that I would recommend you using this bug net, which is hanging it from your tarp so that it drapes enough that you can stand up in it without having to mess with another ridge line. Okay, let's get that done. Okay, first off, I'm, I'm going to toss in the two uh, pieces of shock cord I used with the double barrel cord lock on it. Like I said, just run it through and then one end this end would go through the loop on the end of the tarp and then it would be hooked with this carabiner or a carabiner because you're not going to use this carabiner you're going to use one of your own okay all right so anyway so we're going to toss these in to the bag when we weigh it and I'm going to weigh use a, a stuff sack I'm going to use a, one of the many Costco down blanket stuff sacks I've got over there in my vast compendium of stuff sacks, my bag of bags. Okay, so let's weigh this. Okay, here we go. Stuff sack and everything. Ten point nine ounces. Okay, we will shave a little bit off of that when we trim off the uh, shock cord and maybe not use the stuff sack. But let's say ten and a half ounces okay okay there you go now like I said this is not a necessarily a backpacking solution unless the dog is with me uh, then it's uh, it's going to be a better solution than uh, having her run around on her leash I think uh, we'll have to take her camping to test that out I use that as an excuse with the uh, with the little colonel to go camping again hmm anyway uh, i got a couple more videos coming up for you. I'm going to show you the, uh, the, the loadout uh, that I do, the hot weather loadout that I, that I do uh, here in June, July, and August in Texas. Uh, and that is preparatory for the uh, big event that's coming up uh, in, uh, in July, which is the 5th Annual Texas Butt Bake. And we'll tell you a little bit more about that coming up in the future as well. In the meantime... We'll see you down the trail.